A launch event at Cakes Now Cafe celebrated the release of a new children's book by two local artists who collaborated to create Aif and Stray, Seven Style Secrets for a Perilous Party. I would say the book is, it's a, a colourful, like, mix of people just being themselves and that's the main message behind it, I think, just like, painting the world in colours and that's how I thought about it when I was making it. So it's a rhyming picture book. The book's all about um, not conforming and it's a message for young people that to, so, to kind of say that you don't need to conform to what the world tells you to conform to, that you can just be whoever you want to be. Really, so. The book is primarily aimed at children, but the pair believe that older kids and parents will also get something out of the book's message. 6 to 11, um, just because it's, it's quite long, but um, it's aimed at kids that don't necessarily enjoy reading because the pictures are so bold and bright and you can get lost in them a bit. So, and especially with the rhyme, like it really comes across as, as a, more, it's a more readable book for maybe kids that don't enjoy reading in general. The collaboration between the two artists was integral to the ideas that the book tries to communicate. It worked really well working so closely with Emily because it's quite a visual book. Um, there's a lot of descriptive, there's a descriptive nature to the characters and it's a lot about like, how, how they dress and the, the story about the book is, is kind of based on how people are judged by how they look. So the, the crossover of rhyme and bold picture kind of like went hand in hand together I suppose. Every couple of weeks we'd meet up and just sit and like we'd change things and we'd be googling things and we'd be looking at fashion shows and like people from the public eye um, and it just kind of like and Emily just brought fresh ideas each time. We'd all we'd always be on the same page, which is really helpful. We work yeah. well together, I think. They say that reassuring young people of their place in the world is an important thing to get across. I feel like this kind of message is the kind of message that I wish that I'd had as a kid. It's the kind of book that I wish that I had read. Um, and I think Stevie, well, yeah, he wrote it with that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, um, I think we live in a world at the minute that's very divisive. So there's lots of, you look at the newspapers and you watch the news and it's just all about division. It's all about people judging each other on their differences. Um, and I wanted to do something that spoke to young people that said, actually, don't be afraid of people who are different to you because like, difference is what makes the world interesting. But I think personally, I was like, I want to write something where kids can read it and if they've had a, a rubbish day at school because someone's picked on them because of their hair colour or their skin colour or something, then they've got a book they can go to to read that says, actually, you know, sod them, you're, you're really cool. You know? We spoke to the publisher about how the book came to be and what makes the launch event unique. We tend to base a, a lot of things on whether we like people as well. And we've just enjoyed every minute of working with them. Um, I like them as human beings. I think they're both talented and um, it's great. It's great to be involved in it. So. Well, I think a lot, lot, lot of um, publishing events normally, um, because publishing is so based in the south and the southeast, tend to be in London. They tend to be, you know, other publishers coming along and kind of nosing and looking at what's going on. Um, but... Um, all the way through this project, um, Stevie and Emily are so proud of where they come from uh, and they're so rooted here uh, that we always said that if we ever get around to doing something like what we call a launch, let's do it in the north. They always thought we were joking. Uh, it's, uh, when I say it's different, I mean, you know, people are just here because they genuinely want to talk to them, see their book, uh, wish them well. So it's not like an industry thing. That's what I'm saying. It's not an industry, an insider's thing. It's just really refreshing and really nice. There was a friendly atmosphere at the launch where locals came to wish the duo the very best of luck and to show that when you launch a new piece of fiction, you don't have to do it in London. Kira McFudgen, that's TV.